jog dial to select the desired group. Turn the jog dial clockwise or counterclockwise to browse the stitch patterns. Press the Confirm button to select the desired pattern. You can select the group or pattern also by pressing its icon on the LCD screen. The LCD screen will display the pattern number and stitch image along with preset stitch width and length, recommended foot, foot pressure, and tension setting. Let's practice selecting a pattern you wish to sew. Look for the solid spade, for example, in the reference chart. It is in the decorative group. Press the mode key and turn the jog dial counterclockwise until the decorative group shows in the center of the LCD screen. Press the confirm button and turn the jog dial clockwise until the solid spade shows in the center. Press the confirm button to select the pattern. Automatic plate converter. The needle plate will be converted for straight stitch sewing without requiring a separate plate. When you select straight stitch D1S, D2S, or D3S from the direct selection keys, the LCD screen will advise you before closing the plate converter. If the bobbin thread is pulled out through the needle plate hole, Press the OK key under Set. Now follow the instructions that appear on the LCD screen to trim the thread and to close the plate converter. Press the OK key under Ready to close the plate converter if the threads have been already cut by pressing the Thread Cutter button. On Screen Help some utility stitches can be used for various purposes. When selecting these stitches, a question mark will appear on the LCD screen. Press the Help key to view alternative applications of the stitch. Chapter 3 Practical Sewing Dual Feed Device Setting the dual feed device. This machine is equipped with a built-in dual feed device. It ensures smooth and even feed of all kinds of fabrics. Raise the needle to the highest position and turn the power switch off. Remove the needle. Loosen the set screw and remove the foot holder. Attach the dual feed foot and tighten the set screw firmly to secure the foot. Attach the needle. Raise the presser foot lifter to the extra up position. Swing down the dual feed device and engage it with the dual feed foot. To disengage the dual feed device, pull down the dual feed device and swing it to the rear. Swing up the dual feed device until it snaps into place. Straight stitch sewing with a dual feed device. Patterns D1 to D4 and D1S to D3S can be used with the dual feed device. If you select D1S, D2S or D3S for sewing fine fabrics, use the dual feed foot for the best sewing results. Raise the presser foot and position the fabric under the foot. Lower the needle to the point where you wish to start. Lower the presser foot. Start the machine and sew at medium speed, letting the fabric feed naturally. The machine will not start if the presser foot is up and the LCD screen will show a message to lower the foot. Dual Feed Adjusting Dial If the lower layer puckers, turn the Dual Feed Adjusting Dial toward the plus sign. 
If the upper layer puckers, turn the dual feed adjusting dial toward the minus sign. Altering stitch length and width. The stitch length and width are programmed and optimized for the selected pattern, but you can adjust them to suit your specific sewing needs. To alter the stitch length, press the stitch length adjusting key. To alter the stitch width, press the stitch width adjusting key. For straight stitches, you can move the needle drop position by pressing the stitch width adjusting key. Buttonholes There are 11 styles of buttonholes available. You can choose the appropriate buttonhole for your garment. The machine will sew a properly sized buttonhole automatically in a single step. Place the button on the back of the automatic buttonhole foot and push back the holder to hold the button. The buttonhole length is determined automatically. Attach the buttonhole foot and place the fabric under the foot. Lower the presser foot and pull down the buttonhole lever as far as it will go. Then start sewing. The machine will stop automatically when the buttonhole is complete. Chapter 4 Advanced Techniques Selecting Letters and Numbers Press the monogram key to choose one of three styles available. Turn the jog dial until the desired character is framed in the square. The LCD screen will show the uppercase alphabet, lowercase alphabet, uppercase European letters, lowercase European letters, and numbers in this order. Press the Confirm button to select the desired character. Programming Pattern Combination Any pattern except for D2, D3, and D1S to D3S can be programmed to make a pattern combination. Let's try to program this combination. Press the monogram key and select Broadway Style. Select the uppercase letter I and press the Confirm button. Then press the Memory key to memorize letter I. Press the Mode key and turn the jog dial to select the decorative group. Turn the jog dial and select the solid heart. Press the Memory key or Confirm button to memorize the pattern. Press the monogram key and select Broadway Style. Turn the jog dial and select lowercase letter Y. Press the memory key or confirm button to memorize it. Press the icon of letter O. Press the memory key or confirm button to memorize letter O. Press the icon of letter U. Press the memory key or confirm button to memorize letter U. Press the icon of numbers with the touch panel stylus. Press the exclamation mark and press the memory key. Editing the pattern combination. To delete or insert patterns, press the cross mark on the LCD screen to close the pattern selection window. Press the left arrow of the edit key to shift the cursor to the left. Press the right arrow of the edit key to shift the cursor to the right. Shift the cursor under the pattern you wish to delete. Press the clear key and the pattern above the cursor will be deleted. To insert patterns, shift the cursor under the pattern next to the place where you wish to insert patterns. Select the pattern and press the memory key or confirm button. The selected pattern will be inserted before the cursor. 
storing a pattern combination and recalling it. Up to 20 pattern combinations can be stored in the machine's memory for future use. Press the Memory Recall key after programming a pattern combination. The LCD screen will show the memory address M1 and the key function assignment. Press the Memory Recall key again or turn the jog dial to choose the memory address from M2 to M20. Then press the Memory key to store the pattern combination in the selected memory address. To recall a stored combination, press the Memory Recall key, then turn the jog dial or press the Memory Recall key until the desired combination appears. Press the Confirm button and the stored combination will be ready to sew. If you want to delete the stored combination, select the desired combination and press the Clear key. Customizing the Machine Settings you can customize the machine settings to your preference. Press the Set key and the machine setting window will open. Turn the jog dial and browse the items to set, such as screen brightness, buzzer sound level, subwindow display time, resumption mode setting, favorite stitch adjustment, touch screen calibration, etc. Select the desired item, screen brightness for example, and press the Confirm button. Adjust the screen brightness by turning the jog dial and pressing the Confirm button. Press the cross mark to close the machine setting window. Chapter 5 Care and Maintenance Before carrying out any maintenance or cleaning, be sure to turn off the machine and disconnect it from the power supply. Replacing the needle Check the needle frequently to ensure that its tip is not rough or blunt. Replace it with a new needle if it is dull or bent. Loosen the needle clamp screw and remove the needle. Insert a new needle with the flat side facing back. Push the needle up against the stopper and tighten the needle clamp screw securely with a screwdriver. Cleaning the machine You are recommended to clean the hook area and automatic thread cutter mechanism at least once a month. Press the hook cover plate release button to the right and remove the hook cover plate. Take out the bobbin from the bobbin holder. Remove the set screws on the needle plate with a screwdriver. Remove the needle plate and take out the bobbin holder. Clean the feed dog, thread cutter mechanism and hook erase with a lint brush. Wipe the bobbin holder and inside of the hook race with a soft dry cloth. Replace the bobbin holder in the hook race, making sure the knob fits next to the stopper of the hook race. Attach the needle plate and secure it with the set screws. Be sure to tighten the screw securely with the screwdriver. Insert the bobbin and attach the hook cover plate. Never use benzene or other chemical solvents for cleaning the machine body. Wipe the machine body using a soft cloth soaked in warm water and mild detergent. Regular maintenance will ensure that your machine runs trouble-free. Thank you for purchasing the Jamome machine. This machine incorporates such distinctive features as a long arm body with a wide detachable extension table, an 